Okay, it's time to continue with some more of D and December with some more Baldur's Gate. Oh, and this is chapter two. This is where I last left off. Now I'm at a bit of a crossroads. Um, I just don't know what to do at this point. Should I just continue onward into town here, or with caution? Go back to the friendly arm and get those two characters that uh, Ryan mentioned. Stand away, citizen. Just for you know, just for the heck of it, we'll clear out. It might be a touch unlikely. Think So that takes care of that. Never had no, uh, Let's rest up first. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you. The drab walls just as you remember them. Over the barricades you can see your old room. And you wonder if it really was as small as it appears now. As you stand before the keep, a familiar figure comes into view. Gorion stands before you, but his visage is shadowy and weak. He is dead in your dreams as in life. The phantom of your foster father Newton walks towards the woods. Torrid supposes its safety and beckons for you to follow as he did once before. This time you remain behind, knowing what is to come. Before your eyes, phantoms of the past reenact the pathetic scene that must have taken place in your absence. Clad in armor assuredly magical, a figure strides from the darkness. Admittedly a powerful mage in his youth, Gorion is all but helpless before the onslaught. As he falls, the scene begins again, replaying over and over. Each successive view makes the unknown warrior all the more impressive. As you stare at the murder of your former mentor, one thought coalesces in your mind. You will have such power as this. Whatever it takes, you will have all that he does and more. With that, a passage becomes clear through the darkened wood, and you wonder how you could have missed it. The trees close behind you as you walk, but you are unconcerned. The path 
feels right. It will assuredly give you what you seek. It seems to promise this in a voice you know, but yet have never heard. The image of Gorion's death replays in your mind throughout the night. You get used to it. I just love that last sentence. You get used to it. Huh. Well, since we're here anyways, we might as well just go take a look and see if there's any rumors about it. Let's get some bloodline. I hear some of the flame of this have been sent to Baragos. It seems like the Grand Dukes are getting real paranoid about M. Once before, it talks about the metal short, the uh, iron shortages. Think carefully. Yes. Alright. Again. With caution. See? Such feats are easy when you learn to focus their energies through the light of Selude. Thank you for asking. My name is Rasat. I am merely demonstrating some of the ways in which we sun soul monks will affect our spiritual light through physical activity. May I tell you more about the Order of the Sun Soul? The Order of the Sun Soul was founded during the time of... Hi. What are you supposed to be doing? Some sort of king puncher? Come on, take a poke at me, I dare I have come not to fight, but to demonstrate a few... Oh, so that's how it is, eh? You prance about, pretending to be some sort of hard man, but you're just a coward, right? I am not afraid to defend myself, but I do not seek out conflict without purpose. Instead, I wish to share the light of the moon maker. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of simpering priest, just pretending you know how to fight, but really just begging for coins. always has to be one in every crowd. A sun soul monk uses mind, body, and spirit in equal portions, but not to prove his martial superiority. Rather, he seeks to better the lives of those around him. Yeah, yeah, save it for temple school, boy. If you're not gonna fight nobody, I won't waste any more time on you. I thank you. It is not always easy. In truth, I enjoy a good fight if it is to improve my skills or to defend a just cause. Fighting that man would have enlightened no one. You seem like someone who would appreciate the tenets of my order. May I tell you more about Salune and the Sun Soul Monks? Of the inheritors of Omonitor's power, Salune is the most ardent foe of spiritual darkness. After all, she is the bright opposite of Sha, the mistress of the night. The Moon Maiden's reflected radiance inspires us to shine our inner light upon those in need. In the face of lies, we offer truth. In the face of hatred, we offer compassion. What more would you like to know? The Order of the Sun Soul was founded in the days of ancient Mithra. Then it was called the Brotherhood of the Sun, and its members dedicated themselves to the Sun God, a monitor. With the fall of Mithra, a monitor vanished. Some believe his power now resides in other gods. Different factions of my order turned to them, most to Lathander, some to Selune, and a very few to Sumer. My sect of the order reveres Sumer, the moon maker. What more would you like to know? And I think we're going to learn about this a little bit later. I have had trouble making ends meet since coming to Nashville. If doing so gives me the chance to help others find their inner light, I would be glad to join you. Okay, so we're going to leave behind... We're going to leave him behind. I'm trying to remember, who is the thief? Him? Is it him? Because I could use a... I could use a thief to pick locks. I think it's him. But, they'll be back later. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've changed so much. So many good times. This is truly a sad day, Neat. Goodbye, so sad, blah, 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 and all that rock. Come along, Montero. You are my counterpart, and we shall not be separated. Oh, as we lose the two. But I think... With caution. But, you know what? We can recruit them later, because... Oh, that's right, they're together. That's right. We got this place. This store. With caution. With caution. Welcome to my humble establishment. Interested in a little business on the side, friend? I have a man who swears by his grandmother he links a white book up. Oh, be guys, Phil. 
There's but a short way south, and she'd be easy pickets for a smart sword. I'd pay you good money for it, pal. So it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep in mind that keep it in mind your trucks can I interest you in anything here in my humble shop. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Oh, I think this is what I need. Let's read the faithful coin. I think that's a quest item, if I'm not mistaken. And like I said, at some point, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna make my character an archer also. So we're gonna buy some arrows for now. So there's nothing worth identifying in here. So. I'm done. But this chromatic orb. Oh, it's just a scroll. It's not a spell I can learn. But we'll hang on to it though, just in case. See what he's good at. Okay, he'd be better off with a ninjato instead of a long sword. Because that's where his proficiencies lie. Okay, melee weapons. Fine. Oh, I can give her a quarter staff. Oh, she's already got one. Never mind. Think carefully. Sell this in favor of the Ninjato. You know, I'm gonna buy him a. I'm gonna buy him a long sword, two-handed sword. If that's what he's proficient in, then might as well just buy it. You never know. Think carefully. Alright, so Think the next destination carefully. is to find the arm in. Later, dudes. Oh yeah, I'll take a look at my journal.
realize something. I wonder if there was more to this orchid cabin right here. It's the eye. I'll probably cross that path when day comes. Good job, everyone. With caution. But these weren't uh, white wolf pups, though. These are just regular wolves. With caution. Well, I don't suppose we can make it to Baragos in six hours, guys. Why not? mercenaries to escort caravans on route from arm to Baldur's Gate. Right now I'm looking for some strong sword arms, and I'm willing to pay high. It seems that one of the caravans under my protection never arrived at Baldur's Gate. I need to know what happened. You look like a strong group of warriors. Interested in a job? Tell me more. That's good. I've been having a lot of problems with bonded activity lately, but they've always only taken the cargo and let the caravan go afterwards. I've been catching flag from the family of some of the passengers of this caravan. After all, it was the job of my mercenaries to make sure everyone got safely to Baldur's Gate. Normally, I wouldn't give one damn about some stupid whiner, but one of the passengers was the son of Antar Silvershield. And in this part of the world, his word is law. So, do you want the job or not? I'll pay 15 gold per head, as well as equal opportunity to loot any of the dead bodies that the bandits may have left behind. Hey, I'm glad you guys have some sense in your heads. I have an under who can take care of business here while I'm gone. So let's get him move on. All right. I think this is one quest I'm definitely going to do, because I skipped it the last time. We jumped with Kangan, a dwarf who wants to find a missing noble. The missing noble is the son of Enter Silvershield, and so he really, and so he's really desperate to find the kid. Wait a minute. Think carefully. Wait just a minute. I'm yes. starting to get a funny feeling about this. Because in the last stream, I came across a kid who was paranoid. And he ran off. Well, Baldur's Gate is to the north. I think. This is Baldur's Gate over here. It was right here. Ah, oh, sunshine. Everything feels possible on a beautiful, bright day. It was right here is where I saw him. I don't know where he is now. Oops. Think carefully. Hey, bud. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Okay, hang on. Let's attack these guys. I wonder if these are the bandits that he was referring to. Uh huh. My turn to save the day. Sure, Nira, if you say so. Okay, so there's the scalp that he's willing to pay. Think oh, carefully. Man, she really, like I said before, she really knows how to use the uh, slingshot to her advantage. Not to self, do not get on her bad side. Alright, anyways, let's get moving. With caution. So which means we are on the right path. So far. Watch the progress from here. Alright. You appear troubled. Does a shadow lie upon your soul? While divided by distance and allegiance to three different gods, the various sects of the Order of the Sun Soul cooperate across Faroon. When the sect Nat Katla ceased responding to messages, my masters in Kalimport sent ten monks to investigate. The Mars and I were among those chosen to set sail for our world. We found the monastery abandoned. The nearby residents we questioned about the mystery changed the subject or fled. For weeks, we continued to investigate. At last, through stealth, Subterfuge and patience. We began to overhear rumors that agents of Shah, the mistress of the night, had murdered all the Sun Soul monks in Alcatra. The local residents feared Shah too much to speak with us. But again and again, we overheard one name uttered in fearful whispers. Alcott. Who he is, what he did to the monks in Alcatra, or where he has gone, I cannot see. The trail is lost, unless I stumble across the name Alabot again one day. How may I enlighten you? It seems so long ago that I first joined the Order. Thinking of those days revives fond memories, even as it reminds me of those precious things I have lost. My mother gave up her own life to give life to me. Without her help, my father struggled to raise me and my older brother Gamaz. Life in Kalimport is hard for those not born to wealth and privilege. When he could no longer pay his rising debts, my father was condemned to the Arena of Freedom, where he fought and died for the entertainment of the people. That's a sad way to go. His death left Gamaz and me to scratch out a life upon the streets. We helped each other as best we could, begging, serving, and yes, sometimes stealing. One day, Gamaz was caught with his hand upon the purse of a Sun Soul monk. Rather than punish us, the monk brought us to the monastery, where we were bathed, fed, and clothed as initiates. Well, that's one way to join a brotherhood. From that day forward, we learned the mysteries of Selune and trained our bodies, minds, and spirits to spread her light to others. Indeed, by showing us mercy, the monks of the Order elevated Gamaz and me from what might otherwise have become a desperate existence. I shall never forget the light they shone upon us. How may I enlighten you? Yes? Well, that was an interesting piece of uh, conversation. Think carefully. Someone who needed that journal? The faithful coin?
Oh, Fire Bee needed this book. Oh. And he was back in a... Back in Baragost. Well, I have the book. We can complete the quest later. Hi, friend. Think carefully. Ew, pal. Used to be a bandit, I was. More money than, than in the mines of Nashville, that's for sure. Probably less danger, too, from the sounds of it. That I was. And I ain't afraid to say it neither. But those bandits out there now, they're different. I'll tell you. They got a mean streak in them, and their minds set on taking over the whole area. Most of my old pals have gone missing, and I don't like it one bit. That's why I'm holed up here. I've been good to Bentley and Galena in the past, so now it's their turn to look after me. Again. Well, that was mildly entertaining. Think carefully with caution. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's go to the friendly arm in. I can sound the way the roads are cut off these days. Me uncles and Baldur's in and I can't see him. And I can't get there to see him. How come the roads are cut off? Where have you been? These past few months. The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on ye. And a lot more too. Surely you must have fled some of your trip here, unless you came by the West Road, that is. Why is the rest ro West Road so open? If there's ever a book shortage, road, that road to camera people would be the most dangerous of them all, I assure you. But these folks are after metal, so they're sticking mainly to the larger trail between Baldur's Gate and them. And guess what? This here in a smack them in the middle of it all. Well, thanks for the tip. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. Let's go talk to Bentley. It's been dreadful slow business. What you got? Oh yeah, that's right, the Bandit Scalp can only be sold in a very specific store. Hmm, I hear some news of the flame of this inside the Baragos. It seems like the Grand Dukes are getting real paranoid about M. Lots of people think that M might be behind the iron shortage that we've relieved to war. What was your first clue, genius? Let's get a room for the night, we'll continue our journey to the north. Alright, we're done. Let's go. Please, 
Think carefully. Okay, so I guess our journal got updated. Gather your party cool. before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Carefully. Money. With caution. Yep. Think carefully. Time to start getting experience. Because we're here, I don't know, I might as well do it. Frosty. Righteous man, that is righteous. Let's uh, try this again. Yes, yes. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Ow. 
tired of looking for the caravan. Then you're not... Well, I don't know what this caravan is anyway, so... Yes. We'll probably stay out of there for now. Well, I guess we squandered that quest. You know what? Since we're here, anyways, might as well just go, and go back to uh, might as well go back here. Might as well go back here and uh, get him that book. Oh, we're on the other side of town. Think carefully. We got some good out of it, I, like I guess. It here. Think carefully. Well, if you don't want to search for the kid, I might as well yes. just bring you back to your place. With caution. Yes. Think carefully. Think carefully. And mine, weren't you the impatient one to, uh... uh... My training did not prepare me for such extended... With caution. Activity. Oh, casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. Go back to Nalkesh, we'll uh we'll get some rest. Oh, we've done so much today. Maybe it's time for a quick nap. Wanna wait a minute. Rest when we can. Oh, we could have, oh, we could have gone, when we gone must. in here. What was I thinking? Oh, wait a minute. There's an inn right here. What was I thinking? Yes. Ah, 
with caution. What is the plan? Think carefully. Okay, so we're at High Hedge. And now there's a bandit out here. Gonna... Hail. It's not often that I come across strangers in this part of the world. That's a strange coincidence. I have a quest that lets you know. I've been hunting the bandits in the region for the last few months. Perhaps we can work together with Pepper. What do you say? Their leader, an ogre named Tazog, took the life of someone very dear to me. I don't think we work well together. Well, since this dwarf dude doesn't want the caravan, uh. You've got hardy heights, folks. If you're need a little more dwarf muscle around, you've got it. Yes? Think carefully. Okay, there's a bandit out here, too, that's right. Bacillus. No, nope, that's the wrong place. Oh, this is the short sword quest, okay. Sword. Oh, we found, her. we found her right away, which is even better. Where? Are there three nodes or were there two? Five. Alright. Yes. Alright, we got the sword. about a Kiban. It's a ranger. An elf. Chaotic good. Alright, let's go return the short sword now. Where was he at?
with caution. There he is. Hey, I got your sword, sword bag, man. Hmm, figured maybe he'd eaten it by now. I haven't ran him through once or twice to get it, at least. I'll take your 50 gold and be gone. Wow. Well, at least I gave him a short sword back, so... No reward was worth that. Pretty good has his sword. And I have what he calls his thanks on a reward, although neither is very generous. With caution. Let's go back to the, uh... Let's go back to the, uh... Yes. Although... Let's go over here. Take a look and see. Uh, oh, excuse me. Take a look at his inventory. Well, I got him. Give him a few arrows. Sure. A halberd and longbow. Okay. And what does he have? He's got a longbow. All right. With caution. Think carefully. Stronger than anticipated. Perhaps another weapon will prove more effective. Yes? Alright. Yes. 
Let's go back to the friendly army and find those people. With caution. Not such a smart idea after all. Think carefully. Mm. It's about time. Bring me another flag of ale. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. How rude. Please, whatever you wish. half orc at the front of the army and the first servant. I had a half a mind to tell him for the signal. He was done to decide against it. He looks like the servant would be handy if I could have to under more favorable circumstances. We'll, we'll talk to them later. As of now, there's two people I gotta With find. Caution. speak to his better unless Do you have an excuse for badging in here? Unless you're here to make the bed, I want you out. My business is just that. My business! If that answer is not good enough, I suggest you complain to Bentley at the bar. Tell him that you broke into my room and demanded to know my personal affairs. I'm sure he'll express sympathy for you. As his guards escort you off the property, I trust you will be leaving now. Good day to you. Stone There's a road provide. over with a belt fetish to the south of the friendly army. I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. I wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, can you get that belt back for me? I'd be mighty grateful. What is this? Am I everyone's errand Think boy? Carefully. I mean, yes, I get it. This is a good way to uh, get experience, but still. Experience, but hey, I'll take it. Yes, Landrin. A pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I got a teeny bit of a spider infestation happening in my cell in Fergus. I was on my way to the gate to get some poison, but this would be a lot easier. My legs, to be honest. You'll know the house when you see it. It's right to the west of the Jovial Juggler Inn. Bring back the bodies to prove you've done the job, and I'll give you a hundred gold pieces. If you could, please bring my husband's old boots and my old bottle of wine back as well. I'm also wearing something extra. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. I remember. That is a house in a Baragost. Think carefully. But before I do that, though, I'm going to Think rest up. carefully. Oh. Uh, guys?
with caution. So where is this ogre with a belt fetish? Is that a south of the Friendly Arms Inn? And we are heading south, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. Trying to show off. Wait a minute. Oh, this is where the caravan was. Oh. Should have guessed. I love to watch the stars come out one by one. They wink at you and set to twinkling. Think carefully. Yes. So that's where the caravan was. Oh. Well, I don't have Kagan with me. I suppose I could go back and get him in the... Feel my power! Yes. Although I think it's a little late now to go back to the caravan. Because he just said he gave up. Think carefully. We're going to leave her behind. Yes, with caution. Seriously? After all we've been through? Obviously, I had the wrong idea about our friendship. When you're ready to apologize, you can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. Think carefully. Although, like I said, I think it's a little late for a... Uh... Caravan because he's so fed up with it. Well, how's that know? Yes. Oh, 
With caution. Yeah, business has been poor with the iron shortage and all. Yes. What is the plan? Think carefully. Think carefully. Oh no, wait, we're gonna rest up, that's right. Think carefully. Think carefully. With caution. Oh, wait a minute. With caution. I'm supposed to talk to someone. About this whole iron shortage. That's right. For the glory of arm! You there, you have the look of hardy adventuring stock. I am Baron Gaskill, Mayor of Nashville. I didn't offer your proposition. I was expecting some people to help with our troubles, but they seem to have forgotten us. If you are up to it, I would ask that you take a look at the mine southeast of town. The miners claim there are demons or some such on the but they are a superstitious lot and prone to exaggeration. I am more concerned with the state of our ore. All iron removed from the mines is tainted somehow, and useless for smithing. I would have you find out how it happens and who is behind it. It will be rewarded for your efforts. With um, caution. That's kind of what we were going to do there, uh, guy. You don't need to uh, remind us twice. Ooh, black. Oh, you have returned. No, and so say soon. Say not another word. I would not think of making you wait but a moment for your just reward. When counsel heard that they have procured Grey Wolf to rid the woods of the bandit Tonquin, I knew we would expect swift justice. I would not have predicted it success this quickly, but who else could it be striding into town looking, uh, looking as you do? Please accept this meager sum of 200 gold pieces, as well as the half felt thanks of Na all of Nashgal. You are not Grey Wolf, the bounty hunter? Oh, sweet helm, I almost gave 200 gold pieces to a complete stranger. The captain best not hear of this, he'd have my hide. Thanks be for your honesty, stranger. There are those who would not have done as such. Oh, what's this now? Oh, it's already done. You bunch of chumps! What the hell do you think you was doing? Think carefully. Oh, quiet, Kagan. Oh, that's just a garrison. We did the right thing, that's what we did. Let's not commence. Stand and deliver. Let us pass my hamster might have, have a better look, look at you. Yes, I'll ask him. Who and I go to rescue my charge? Damn Dinah here. You may aid in our victory if you wish. There's more enough for all. Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have carried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my head dead head he will lead us to victory. Onward to the null stronghold in the west. Tarina, we must go soon.
Yes. All right. Well, I know where this place is, so... Completing this quest will not take long. Let's take a look at him. He's a ranger who talks to a rodent. Butt kicking for goodness! Yes? With caution. Stronghold's over here. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta go this way. I'm gonna yes. another route out. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. No further. I require the services of your group. Yes, they will do nicely. Why do you want her dead? Frankly, yes, there's no concern about it. We need Buckley to act. No questions. What is your answer? Hmm. Seems I shall find out as more. A custom to have enough for. Be gone. I have no time for this. Coincidence? Huh, I wonder. With yeah, caution. I think it is a coincidence that uh. Hey. Hi, I'm Newbert. Nice place, huh? Uh, yeah, it is a nice place. With caution. Now he's just following us around. Dude, don't. That's not cool, man. All right. You have been waylaid by enemies. With caution, you must defend yourself. What is this? Oh, I will show you justice. Dang, man! I will show you justice. Power. Seems like my range attackers are far more effective than my uh, melee attackers. You know, I'm glad I kept the ranger. Think carefully. But I still have yet to find potions. Yes. I'm just drawing a blank on where they're at. Besides Baldur's Gate, where there are a ton of shops. Here. You have been waylaid by Think enemies. Think carefully, you seek enlightenment. After discovering our fellow Sun Soul monks had vanished from their monastery, we felt the truth must lie behind the name Alagoth. We spread out in pairs to investigate further. Gamaz and I, used to life on Calamport streets, searched for rumors on the streets of that cattle. Much of our investigation took place at night, under the benign gaze of Selune. You see, Although the sun shines more brightly, it is the moon that reveals the truths hidden in darkness. 
One night, we witnessed several shadowy figures assaulting a lone man on the street. We raced to his defense. The Moon Maiden blessed us, and we drove off his attackers. Despite our intervention, the man was gravely wounded. I remained with him, tending his wounds as best I could while calling for help. Gamaz, however, pursued the attackers. I shouted to him to come back, but he did not listen. Sometimes I wonder whether things would have been different if I had followed Gamaz instead of remaining with the wounded man. I suppose it might have been worse had I gone with him. Still, I wish that night I could have been two men. One to remain with the injured man, another to go with my brother. When help finally arrived, I ran after Gamaz. I found him only a few streets away. My brother had fought bravely, slaying three of his attackers before he was brought down. Once more, I cried out for help. Men came soon, but not to aid me. Instead, they arrested me for fighting in the streets, leaving Gamaz to die in a pool of his own blood. When the guards released me the following day, Gamaz had died. They said he had been slain by shadow thieves. The guards could not even give me his body, for they had burned it with those of the other dead men. Thank you for your kindness. Disheartened by the tragedy, my fellow monks returned to Calumford. Gamaz and I had entered the monastery together as brothers. I could not return without him. Neither could I remain in Atkatla, a city that forever holds evil memories for me. I traveled north. At first I thought I might visit the Monastery of the Sun in Waterdeep, which they called the City of Splendors. Yet I was in no hurry to arrive. Every day since entering the Order of the Sun's Soul, I had striven to fill my heart with radiance that I may share it with others. After Gamaz's death, I felt only the shadows of grief and despair. But perhaps I have dwelt too long on such memories. I wish to share my inner light with you, not my inner darkness. What else can I tell you? My training at the Sun Soul Monastery began the moment the kindly monk brought Gamaz and me inside its walls. As you might imagine, there was a great deal of physical training. At first, we were assigned chores and exercises. We looked with envy upon the older initiates who practiced combat techniques while we swept the stones and prepared meals for our seniors. Well, everyone's gotta get their start somewhere. The monks taught us to read and write, and why it is important to do both with careful thought. We practiced debate, studied history, and answered endless quizzes about the 9,000 mysteries of Salune. We learned to meditate upon the moon, the shards, and the stars. We also learned to meditate on the darkness between them, for it falls to us to battle the servants of Salune's dark sister, Shala. At last, we learned to combine our learning, devotion, and physical prowess to project our inner light outward. With it, we combat the darkness inside or surrounding others. We all strove hard, but Gamaz was the best among us. None of the other monks could defeat him in combat. Only I could come close, but each time victory was within my grasp, he swept it away with some spectacular strike. Even among the elder students, Gamaz stood as a pillar of tradition and excellence. His death is a great loss, not only to me as his brother, but also to the entire order of the Sun Soul. I thought it best that you should know my past, since we traveled together. What else can I tell you? Again? With caution. I will show you justice! Think carefully. Ah. Oh, we've done so much today. With caution. Maybe it's best. time for a quick nap. I have a bad case of armor change. Rest when we can. Fight when we must. Of course, resting outside is risky because you run the chance of being attacked. Look at all these bears. I will show you justice. What a caution. With caution. 
down. Yes. There has to be a bridge to get it. Oops, but we have bridge. I will show you justice. Yes, with yeah. caution. Thank goodness someone came by. There's a bear on the other side of the bridge, but it's coming this way. Please hold it off. We'll give you anything. Jared and the bear. Kind of sounds like a, uh... Sounds like an Aesop's Fable thing. I've just met Jared. A normal friend which in the wilds of East Mountain. He just fled a bear, which was apparently leading him to the other side of this bridge. So there's an old stronghold. And like I said, it's not guaranteed that uh, you'll be able to rest fully uh, out in the wilds. Because you run the risk of being attacked. Yeah. Think carefully. Identify. All right. With caution. But we can always take it to a merchant and uh, get him identified later. Bad 
that case of death. just for practice. Hmm. As 
there's also this path too we have to take. So be it. Son of Dinah, though. She cannot be far. This is the Null Fort. And yet. Cleared out everybody in the uh, fort. Yeah, this is the edge.
with caution. Eight hit points, her lore increased by one, and now she can learn one more spell. Very nice. All right. Nicely done. You know, the rest of my party is like, mm. lucky thing to level up. Carefully. Oh, it's just a cave. But good worth good to know we're yes. worth exploring. We can get some free items out of this deal. Boot, uh, I don't think anybody would be want to messing with that. Especially considering that she's very deadly with her slingshot. Thank you, dude. Oh, 
Oh, you bet. Drop something. C could you pick it up for me?
Think carefully. Yes. Great that we're killing all these guys here, but it's not doing me any good to uh this whole place and no sign of a Dinah anywhere. something. C could you pick it up for me? Yes. Get over here! a bad case of death. I will Fall. show you justice! Fall! Seriously, we lost him, one of my favorites. Oh, you gotta be kidding. The good news is that he's not permanently dead. I just have to find a temple to bring him back. His name's 
It's one of my favorites, too. With caution. But resurrecting someone is not cheap. Butt kicking for goodness! Are you sure she's here? Yes. Uh, one thing I could do is uh, go to the temple and resurrect them. your party before venturing forth. You have been waylaid by enemies caution. and must defend yourself. Oh, well, there's a winter wolf right there. Oh, you get its pelt. Very nice. Aye. With caution. That's pretty penny, too. Caution. Friend back. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, with caution. With caution. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Hell guards of all the rooms and his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide. For a simple donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our mutual goodwill, you understand? I'll watch over you and your and our poor lost brother Raj. I find a captain of the guard could nary the bones this side of now. Be friendly, excuse me. Such a strange change for one of one so devoted as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be slay or stayed. Held by no quarter of the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution need not be his life. Is there anything I can help you with? Okay. That'll do the trick. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. This stuff is so expensive. Oh, jeez. 
Well, this wouldn't be the appropriate place to sell such stuff. But I can, however, use Identify. Leadership and influence, huh? Charisma, rate by one point permanently special. This book is consumed upon use. Place in a quick item slot. Ooh. Oh, and there's also some gauntlets, too. I want to identify. The Brawling Hands. There we go. Gauntlet quick sturdy. Brawling Hands. This pair of gauntlets was unveiled by Caratory to eight masters of martial arts. Legends speak of such masters of the Far East bringing these and equip them on their journeys. No details remain sketchy. Equip abilities, dexterity, eight. Ooh, I think I know who would uh, make the most of this. Oh, we've done so much today. Maybe it's time for a quick nap. Rest when we can. We Fight will, we will. Lost. Jesus Christ. Okay, so resurrecting him is not that expensive after all. I thought it was one of these items, uh, I know one of these games, uh, where he's dead is pretty pricey. Okay, so I guess if I come across more pelts, I'll just bring them to him. Which is not a bad deal, in my opinion. I don't think I'm going to be needing the scroll case. But the gems, however, I get rid of. as far as armor goes. Huh, not much. Well, actually, nothing here, to be honest with you. Speaking of which... What do you want? Get him a longbow, too. Hmm. Oh, he has no arrows. Well, I'm here anyways. Yes. Just go and buy some arrows. Give him a ton of arrows. I was going to get myself some arrows, too, while I'm at it. sharing. There. And no excuse as to why you ran out of arrows so soon. There 
go. With caution. The business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. Ah. Yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. With caution. Yes. Oof. All right. Think carefully. So I gained 10 more hit points. Lore increased by one. Attack over reduced by one. Otherwise, pretty much everything else remains the same. And he leveled up too. So. Yeah, pretty much all the same. Great. Great. That's what I like to see. With caution. You can't do much from here. Think carefully. Well, I suppose we could rest here. We, we may not rest. rest this time. Rest when we can. Fight when we must. With caution. Well, you know what? No. I think we're going to stop it here. Um... Thank you all for watching. I'll see everyone next time.